Uh, this is Seymour Rocks from Down Under. Um, I'm doing this as an alert. Um, as you'll know, I haven't been doing my usual um, uh, monitoring of the methane that I was doing last year. Uh, and I've been relying on Margot, who's been doing some excellent work. And she's come out with a uh, an analysis of the of the latest data. And what happened is uh, that she uh, came out um, uh, and showed us uh, today uh, what the data was looking like in December. Um, so um, well, let's have a look at that first. And uh, I, I apologize, the quality won't be very great, but you'll, you'll get what I mean. releases of methane in Russia and Siberia over here. Also um, coming up in the kerosene and coming around and the colors. I want you to look at the colors of the red and the orange and um, now as it moves out, so the data is for the 31st and then it moves four days into the forecast period through the fourth. Now watch this wave moving all the way across the Arctic. So that's methane coming up through the sea ice. And this was also on my YouTube video, climate update video from a couple of weeks ago. But I'm just choosing to work off of Vimeo right now. So this is what we're seeing into the forecast period. So I'm going to pause it there. So now uh, compare that uh, with today's readings. Um, So that's what it looks like uh, today. So what basically happened is, as far as I can get it, that the Marco was observing this, and then there was there was a gap in the data. The data went down. Uh, she uh, sent them an email asking them what had happened, and then their uh, data has came back up. Uh, the actual uh, color chart hasn't changed one little iota, but the data has changed, and it's clearly, uh, clearly so. She's demonstrated it very, very uh, clearly. So this looks very much to me uh, like a uh, a cover up of something that might be going on. So. India at the end of uh, December um, and then uh, that compares with now um, you can see uh, very very high levels up here and you can see very very high levels in China but look at this completely uh, different color carbon dioxide. Uh, so this is the uh, latest data that they've uh, put up uh, and you can see kind of how it looks. This is a total column. We look at surface levels for methane mostly or 500 um, uh, thing. Um, so that this, uh, this, is, this, this is total column. So if we go from there and that's how it looked like um, a wee while ago. I think in um, in December, if I'm if I'm um, uh, not if I'm not wrong. So it looks like quite a different picture. So why has carbon dioxide gone down? Ah, huh? so let's just have a look at this. She's done this uh, in her video as a comparison. So that's now, and that's how it. Uh, looked before. 
So, and then she went on to the actual uh, data itself. So how much uh, carbon dioxide is there out there? So she's used uh, Mauna Lana data. Uh, and I'm sorry uh, if the quality is very bad here. This is this. These are the readings from July, uh, July the 13th. It was at 4, 12.93 parts per million. Uh, so now, how did it look like um, in January? Um, oh, sorry, it's cut off a bit. But never mind. You can see uh, January the 14th was 412 .3 eight parts per billion million. So basically uh, there's been no change. So uh, we saw uh, how it looked in July on uh, according to CAMS. We saw the, uh, uh, the actual data and then we see how it looks on CAMS today and the data. The data is almost exactly the same and it looks very very different on CAMS. So just uh, draw your uh, own conclusions uh, I'm sure there's going to be much more on this um, and I will uh, post Margot's uh, videos in the description box below. Um, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under.